In the last class, we have seen about different types of modulus of elasticity. Today, we will be discussing the work done per unit volume in a strain. We know that an external deforming force can cause strain in a body. And this strain can be of different types like long, longitudinal strain, volume strain and shearing strain. And this external deforming force acting on the body is stored up as potential energy in the body. And this is known as the strain energy or the elastic potential energy. And we will discuss this energy or this work done per unit volume in each case. So first let's see in the case of longitudinal strain. As you can see in the figure, here is a horizontal, here is a wire and we are applying a force in the in this direction along the uh, direction normal to the cross-sectional cross area of the wire and when we apply the force there is, an, there is a stretch happening and this stretch causes an additional length small l in the wire. The original length of the wire was capital L. Now due to the external force F in this direction there is an additional length small l. Now we can write the Young's modulus as stress by strain which is force by area upon small l upon capital L and this can be further written in this form and now force can be written in terms of Young's modulus in this manner and now to calculate the work done for this stretching along this whole length that is small l we have to first take an infinitesimal length dl and calculate the work done for this infinitesimal length or infinitesimal increase in length and then integrate over the whole length small l so first we calculate the work done for an additional small increase dl in the length of the wire which is force times the infinitesimal length or force times dl force is what we already know and we substitute that here and finally we integrate over the whole length we know why a and capital L are constants so we just take it out and integrate LDL integral LDL gives L square by 2 over the limit 0 to L and now after simplifying we get the get our answer in this form and we can just separate this L square term into L and L and this this term Y A L upon capital L this is the force itself so this term can be substituted by force times L and this is the work done for additional small addition uh, work done for the increase in this length L increase in this length small L and now work done per unit volume can be written by just dividing this term work done term by the volume of this material volume of this cylindrical wire is the cross-sectional area times the length of the wire so this is a times l capital l which is the original length of the wire so after dividing we can separate this a and l terms to f by a and small l by capital l f by a is the stress and small l by capital L is the strain. So we got the final work done per unit volume in this stretching as half times stress times strain. So next we discuss the volume strain case. In this we consider a body and we apply a pressure normally over an area, area A of the body and this body has a volume capital V and then the bulk modulus can be written as stress by strain stress by strain which is force upon area upon small v upon capital V where small v is the amount of volume which has been decreased which has decreased due to the supplied pressure on the body and the V capital V is the original volume so further we will get this in terms of pressure since force by area is pressure 
now pressure can be written in terms of bulk modulus as k small v upon capital V where k is the bulk modulus now work done for an infinitesimal increase work done for an infinitesimal increase in the direction of the applied pressure is force times the increase and the force can be written in terms of pressure as pressure into area and area times dx gives the infinitesimal change or infinitesimal decrease in volume which is dv and to get the whole the work done in the whole range we just multiply integrate the work done over 0 to small v and integrating this after substituting the value of pressure k small v upon capital V and k upon capital V are constants so we take it, take them out integrating v dv gives v square upon 2 over the limit 0 to small v finally we get half k upon capital V times small v square k into small v upon capital V gives the pressure so we just sub, uh, substitute for k small v upon capital V which is pressure and remaining v here so this is the work done and to get work done per unit volume we just divide this by volume of the body and after uh, so the small v upon capital V gives the strain and this pressure is nothing but the stress itself so again we can get the work done per unit volume as half into stress into strain which is the same result that we got for the longitudinal strain so the third case we will be discussing is the shearing strain In this we consider a cube and the cube, base of the cube is fixed on a surface and the upper surface on the upper surface we apply some tangential force which causes a deformation or strain and causing the upper surface to shift by a small distance small l and the shearing angle is theta so rigidity modulus can be written as stress upon strain stress is force upon area and strain is theta which is small l upon capital L now area is given by the square of the side for a cube which is L square capital L square substituting this and finally we get F upon small l into capital L so force can be written in terms of rigidity modulus as force equals rigidity modulus times small l times capital L now work done for an infinitesimal displacement of this upper surface is given by force times this displacement and force can be substituted from here and again similar fashion we integrate from 0 to the whole range of strain which is small l finally we get half eta capital L small l square where half where eta capital L small l gives the force so just substituting this value here half force times the remaining l and work done per unit volume can be calculated by again substituting the again dividing the whole term of work done by the volume of the material which is cube and the volume will be l cube l cube is divided here and finally we get f upon l square as stress and small l upon capital l as strain so finally half into stress into strain so for all the three cases of longitudinal strain volume strain and shearing strain we get the same value of work done per unit volume which is stored in the body.